in this video we will be discussing the details of different processes that is involved in the sexual mode of reproduction so we have already discussed about the asexual mode of reproduction now let us go into the details of sexual mode of reproduction now before going into the sexual mode of reproduction one concept we have to understand that is the concept of the life span right life span so what is the life span of a particular organism so any living organism that is being born and it after a certain period of time it dies so the total time it is in a living condition that is called as a life span for the particular organism so life span is the time period from birth to the death of a living organism and the life span is not same as per, for all the organisms it may be different for different organisms or different species in different types of plants and animals or any other organism so the life span of a bacteria may be 20 minutes whereas the life span of tortoise it may be some 300 or 400 years right so it depends on the different species their habitat their um, the way they live the total uh, time they spend on earth it all depends on different parameters so it cannot be the same for all individuals clear so lifespan means the total time period it is in a living condition and we can divide the lifespan into different phases of life mostly the organisms who are sexually reproducing in such organisms the total lifespan can be divided into three major uh, stages of life right so what are three major stages in lifespan the first one after birth is the juvenile juvenile condition clear and the second stage after juvenile condition is the reproductive and the third stage after the reproductive phase gets over it is the senescence phase okay it is the senescence phase so now let us go into the stages and let us discuss what are the activities that take place during this phases of a particular living organism so the juvenile phase is from birth to the reproductive stage so this in plants so i can write here in plants the juvenile stage is also referred as the vegetative stage vegetative stage clear so in plants what happens after the plant is born or the plant uh, the it germinates it enters into the vegetative stage then it attains the reproductively active stage then after the reproductively active stage it enters into the senescent phase but in animals what happens it starts with a juvenile phase then the juvenile enters into the reproductive phase then the senescence phase comes now juvenile is the childhood phase or the uh, reproductively inactive phase so after birth immediately the organism doesn't enter into the reproductive stage so it takes a time period after which the organism will be entering into the reproductively active stage now when this particular stage comes that means the organism is now active it is now ready for the reproduction process mostly the sexual mode of reproduction so the body gets activated or we can say the hormones get secreted or we can say different chemicals that secrete in the body it may be in a plant or it may be in an animal so during that time they become reproductively active and after that the process of reproduction continues clear so this phase continues for a certain period of time till the aging process starts so the last phase that is the senescence phase that 
uh, it continues with the aging process. So slowly what happens, the reproductive power of the organism slows down and the organism enters into a process of aging, right? So what happens, some of the uh, plants what happens, like our, um, the plants which grow within a year and the plant dies, like grass, wheat or rice, maize, all these plants which are um, like the uh, annual plants. The plants which grow in a certain season and they will be dying in the within before the onset of the other season. So in such cases what happens within that one year of time they continue all the three stages like the vegetative stage then the reproductive stage comes and then the senescent stage so the plant dies within the year or within that season right. So during the vegetative stage the plant prepares itself for the reproductive phase during reproductive phase the flowering starts then after the flowering period is over the fruits are formed seeds are formed then it will enter into a senescence and finally it ends with the uh, death of the plant now this particular uh, time period or lifespan what we are talking about that varies from one plant to another suppose we take some of the organisms they are not annual plants right they live longer time once they grow they live for a longer time so every year every year there will be a season when they will be flowering or they will be fruiting and then again they will be entering into a phase of non-reproductive stage right so in such cases we will not say that they are going back to the vegetative phase they are actually the reproduction is a stagnant process for a certain period of time clear so it is not continuing throughout the year some plants they reproduce throughout the year they flower throughout the year so there are some plants which are uh, like uh, perennial plants are there which throughout the year they will be flowering fruit will be produced that is also possible some plants seasonal like mango uh, like um, jackfruit all these uh, plants they come for a certain stage the certain season only we will get this right so what happens during that season the particular plant will grow then it the plant doesn't die after it flowers or makes the fruit it enters into a non-reproductive phase but it doesn't go back into the vegetative phase it remains in the reproductive phase of life but does not reproduce as the season is not favorable as the surrounding environment is not favorable for the organism right so you must have heard about the nila kuranji uh, that plant that is the strobilanthus kuntiana right that is found in the nilgiri hills the blue color uh, flower which blooms it takes 12 hour 12 years to flower once right so one year may be taken by mango plant whereas 12 years are taken by nila kuranji plant so what we can say during the 12 years is it going back to the vegetative phase no the plant takes 12 years to flower again so that 12 years it is in a stagnant phase so it does not flower and it does not enter into the vegetative phase also it is in a non-reproducing phase of life again after 12 years it reproduces again it will go into a stationary hibernating phase that is for 12 years clear so what happens in the animals so in animals also they there are different varieties like we take example of uh, birds uh, reptiles or uh, the amphibians they also have a season they also have a preferable uh, time period of the year when they will be laying eggs all the birds they do not lay eggs at the same time similarly all reptiles and all um, amphibians they don't lay the eggs at the same time so they have their own time period so they have their own preferable time in the year so during that time they will be reproducing and the offsprings will be born